Hey guys, so if you watched woo yesterday's video, you know that I'm just plowing through some of these questions. This tripod could not be any cheaper. Um, and these questions are all about kind of like the beginning of of the end, I guess you could say. And I'm in very I'm in a spunky mood, so <laughs> I don't know why. There's like nothing. What tea am I drinking? I think I'm drinking like a vanilla, a caramel, raspberry caramel tea. Like there's nothing. Maybe I eat, I don't know. I had pizza for lunch. Maybe I ate too much pizza or something. I'm all like super chipper. Um, all right, so today is going to be talking about when I first noticed signs of drug use. And I touched on this in, now it's gonna be yesterday's video, and I also talked about it in like my divorce, the big divorce why video. And when I first started noticing signs, and I would have to say that I really first started noticing signs the first time he was using pills. And there was, okay, this is gonna get kinda like personal, but um, a few of the signs that I noticed are he was, he wasn't like needing as much sleep. And this is to the best of my knowledge, at this point in time, all he was using were pain pills. And I mean a lot though, like the number he gave me were 17 a day. And let me just give you a rough idea of what that math is. He told me, and I don't, I don't know. He told me the going rate was $5 a pill. And this is when he kind of like came clean about all of it. So that's $85 a day. I mean, that's like, let's just see, 365 days a year. It wasn't that much though, divided by, that's $31,000 a year. Can you believe that? Um, so it was for a few months and that's almost $2,600 a month. So... Um, when I first started noticing signs, I guess like the first, okay, well, we won't talk about his signs for a second, but one of the first signs I noticed were financial signs. All of a sudden we were getting like, you know, his, his checks were less because he was putting checks into the bank. He was putting checks into the bank. But what he was doing was, I actually think this is the second time that he, the second go around. Um, because the first, the f okay, yeah, that was the second go around that he started that. And the first time he would take out like $40, he would take out $60, he would take out $80, $20, like whatever. And I would ask about it and he'd say he was lending so-and-so money. And there, I remember there being one point when I, I said to one of the wives and I was like, you, you know, do, do you know about this? Like he's giving, so, you know, your husband a lot of money and no, it's not. So it was a little, it was a little weird. It was kind of like, well, who's the husband's lying here? Is mine, but um, anyhow, that that wasn't for a while that I confronted somebody else about it. It was just when it started getting really suspicious because I'm like, ah, I don't think you're that hard up, but uh, I was okay with it because I was, you know, I was totally fine with lending, you know, somebody you need money, money, and I I went with it for a really long time, but that started to become like a a huge problem because money was getting taken out of our account and it was like hey I need to pay this bill like we can't pay our power bill because you just lent so-and-so money for their power bill like hello like <laughs> we need this like we need our power right now and and stuff like that and that's when it started getting really like suspicious when it was really putting us like in a financial situation we were becoming late on things blah blah, blah. so anyways um that was that was probably, that was like my first sign. Now, signs as far as he goes and things that I started noticing with him when he was doing, again, just pills to the best of my knowledge, but holy cow, a bird almost just flew in. Uh, there's a window right in front of me and he almost just, oh, it's like, <laughs> and then made a quick turn. Anyhow, kind of scared me. It's like when a bird flies towards your windshield in the car and you dunk, even though, you know, they're not getting through your windshield. But, um. Some signs about him is all of a sudden he didn't need as much sleep and he'd always been a real big sleeper. Like he'd go to bed at nine and wait, you know, sleep all the way to six and stuff like that. So he'd always, you know, he really like needed his sleep. So he always did that and that stopped. Like he was staying up until like midnight and, you know, waking up a little bit earlier. Like he just didn't need as much sleep. He, and okay, these might not even be signs and I might be totally just naive here, but this is, like I said, just what I know, this is just what I experienced. Um, that's, that's all I can talk about. So, um, I can't, I can't speculate just in case these videos are ever used against me. It just has to be facts. But, um, that he, um, got really, really chill and really relaxed all the time and was like really nice, which was, you know, he wasn't ever really, really mean, but he was, he was pretty nice. 
and it was different than when he was using meth because he was really mean. So there is, you know, there's major differences with his behavior between the two of them. But he got really nice. He didn't sleep as much. Um, he had kind of like an increased sex drive. That was a, that was one. Um, what else was there? Those were some of the biggies. He must be doing as far as food and eating. I don't remember. Um, so those were some like the, the ones that really like stood out to me and really was like, those were, you know, noteworthy things because they were big changes. Oh, in the bathroom, he would come home from work and he would go to the bathroom for an hour, a full hour. So it was like, okay, I would, there after a little while, I was planning out dinner. It was like, okay, he gets off at seven. He's going to get home at eight. Like I need to have his dinner ready at nine because from seven to eight, he's driving from eight to nine. He's in the bathroom. Like it was, it was crazy. And I just adjusted to it. Like it was nothing, but, um, so those were some of those signs. And that was just with the pills. Now, as far as the meth goes and the signs with that, he opposite, no, not opposite necessarily, because all of a sudden he needed way less sleep. Like he was sleeping, I don't know, an hour, maybe two. I don't even know because he would be up when I went to bed at like midnight one. And then he'd be up before I was when I got up at, you know, five or six. And oftentimes at that time, Drake was a baby and I was nursing him and Drake would wake up to nurse. And I would notice he still isn't even in bed. It's three, 4 a.m. So really strange behavior there. He become very, he became very obsessive with, it was remote control helicopters. And I found a piece of one the other day and I was so just like, get it out of my house. I was, I don't even know how I had it or where it came from or what, but, um, ugh, makes me sick. And my dining room table is destroyed because he would sit there and just tinker, like tinker, tinker, tinker with them and like take them apart and then put them back together, take them apart, paint it, put it back together, like over and over and over and over and over again, like nonstop. He would be doing it while we were eating dinner, which he barely even ate. So his appetite was like gone. He wasn't eating. Um, so he was yeah, he was, he would just be there and he would come home for lunch, but all he would do was come home and pick up his helicopter, like mess around with it and then leave. It was so weird. And then he would do it in the morning and he would, you know, do it in the afternoon and he would, you know, take it to work and do it. And then he would do it all night long. It was just, that was like the most extreme behavior, which later on talking to, um, a friend of mine who is a cop was like, yeah, that's like, um, tweaker, I think behavior. I think that's the word for it. Um, but it's usually most, I think it's usually seen in kind of a, I think it's more typical in another drug, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Like I said, all this stuff just blends together in my head. But um, yeah, so that was a really big sign. He was very mean and very like, very short and very aggressive and just, he was just a horrible person to be around. Um, he wasn't coming home. There were times when he just, he was working, working late and had, you know, something to do late. And instead of coming home when he was supposed to be home at seven, he would come home at 11, like things like that. And that was happening multiple times a week. And there was certain days of the week that it was like, okay, well, every Tuesday you get home at like midnight. And I know every single Tuesday you don't have to work late and just, you know, you've been, the, the place has been closed for, I don't know, four or five hours. Like, come on. But he was insistent. I believed him. Oh, did I believe him? It just makes me sick. <sighs> so, yeah, that was that. Was, those are probably some of the biggest signs that I noticed, and it was pretty. I mean, it was pretty bad. Like, it was it was horrible. And I started to, you know, after a little while with like the pills, I could recognize it. And he'd be like, "Oh, my foot hurt. I only took a half," and it, I would believe that. And you know, things like that. I just shame on me, but I didn't know. I didn't know. And let me tell you, my trust for things like that's probably ruined, but all right. So that's it. Those are the signs. Next weekend, I'm going to be talking about his family and his family's knowledge about all of it. And also, um, how I dealt with him while I was pregnant because it was going on for, I mean, a lot of it was going on for the second half. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it was the second half. It was. It was the second half of Drake's pregnancy when things really, that was when things really started getting bad. Yep. Okay. All right. I will see you guys. I will see you guys next weekend. I'll still have the same spunky attitude because I'm going to record right now. <laughs> Bye.